Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the photo on your main header image. It's actually a very simple process. Let's do it right now. Okay, so I'm within Squarespace. This is a real basic web page that I've made for a nonprofit. And what I wanna do is change out this photo. They work in a lot of disaster relief areas. And I originally started with a volcano image and they wanted to change it to a fire image. So I found a really great stock photo that I wanna upload. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to click on the edit button. Now again, uh, from my home screen, you have some areas to navigate over here. I clicked on pages and this brought me to the pages and then I clicked on home down here, which is the page that I want to edit. So from here, what I'm gonna do is actually click on the edit button and that's going to bring me into my editing features. And then what I wanna do is actually being hovered over the image area that I want. You can see we get a few little editing buttons that pop up. What I'm gonna do is click this little pencil icon and you can see that is gonna open our edit selection. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is actually click on the background option here. And as you can see, we have options for either an image or a video. I'm gonna stick with image. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna click on replace. Okay, so these are files on my computer. You can see I have one that's labeled Fire Silhouette. This is the one I wanna use. Now these constraints are gonna be a little bit off. It's, this is actually a, a portrait style photo instead of a landscape. So I'm gonna to have to adjust it a little bit. But again, this is the image that I want and I'm gonna click open. This takes just a couple of minutes depending on the size of the image that you're uploading. And once it has uploaded, it's automatically going to be replaced. And there you go. Now, again, there's a couple of things that I have on here. You can obviously see that all this is showing is these top sparks. And so I want to make sure I come over here and see this little circle. I'm going to bring that circle down and I'm just going to touch the area that I really want it to focus on. And if the more I move it down, the more you can see that we really get that cool kind of silhouette that I wanted. Now, the other thing I had is some image effects on the other photo. And you see how it's kind of distorting this one. I actually don't want that to have the effect that I was looking for for the other one. What I use is the refracted lines. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm actually gonna go with the liquid effect. And you see how that just kind of moves things to potentially uh, make it look like the fire is moving. Again, this is distorting the shadow a little bit too much. So I may just want to keep none on the effects for now. Again, this is something you can play around with. Uh, and after the effects have gone on, you can again adjust and make sure that you are seeing exactly the area that you want to see here in this background image. That's basically it, friends. I really hope that helps. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? It let's us know we're making helpful videos. And don't forget to subscribe because we are actually making a huge series of Squarespace tutorial videos, and those are going to be released really soon. Thanks so much for watching.